Hi everyone, this is Julie with Keeping It Real with Randy and Julie. Um, on the previous video, you saw how I made this. And I wanted to show you how it looked afterwards. Um, remember what I was telling you that the boards that I got were like 9 inches wide. And then this little board right here is 3 and this one is 9. And you just put it all together. You put the sideboards on. And you lay this out on the table and you put the sideboards on on all three sides you leave the back open like I was telling you earlier so you can slide it. I have a um, flat top so this doesn't go on this one but that way you can slide it to the very back and the burners are underneath here so it all fits so um, she wanted a maple so we did a maple to match her cabinet and then she wanted a red rooster, which I got this one at Hobby Lobby. They come in a, like a barn red and a white and a brown and a teal. I think there's only three colors. I think it's like a barn red, a teal, and a white. And she wanted a, a red one. So I did the red. And then at Hobby Lobby and Michael's, they have some stencils. And I used the black acrylic paint. I put the stencils on. And then I paint over that. And then... You can go to Hobby Lobby like every other week. They have sales like 50% off their metal. So you can get this for like 50% off. And then you can get your handles for 50% off. Anyway, I stained this one the maple. Put the black handles on. Did the black acrylic paint. Painted the red rooster and decorated It's a little bit wet still so that's why it's moving. But I used the E6000 glue to put on that. And then once that dry, it's not moving. So, um... I just wanted to show you the finished product so you can see what it looks like. And again, I can't stress enough, if you have a flat top, you don't put the raised parts on it. You just put these three pieces here and then your um, handle board to put all the three pieces together. And then you just staple and screw those and then you put your handles on, you decorate it and everything great. If you have a gas stove then that's when you put the lip on so it raises it but these are great to I mean if you have an ugly stove you can put the stove top over it to hide that uh, you can also do it on the sink um, like there's dishes in my sink and if I was going to move this bear with me I'm filming by myself We make these to fit, it would be flat to fit on your sink. So either the sink or the stove, it just gives you extra um, counter space. Like if you're having a party, um, you can do like a, a flat one and you don't have to decorate it, but you can put like stencils and stuff and you can use that as, like I said, extra cabinet space. You can put your spices on it. There's just a lot of things you can do. So you can use this as a sink cover a stove cover um we also make them where you can um put trim all the way around them and use them as a tray so i just wanted to show you the um the after the video before showed you how i, I made it and what i was doing and this is what it looks like after um the red looks really good with this one i like the um dark walnut um with the red it really pops but i think this one looks pretty good it's like the maple um color and the black just makes it really pop so anyway um please visit more of our videos i know we're having more with barbecue and fishing and building more products and stuff we are on facebook under our page is texas shutter biz and decor inside and outside so i hope you can enjoy those too Bye, y'all. Oh, and don't forget about Uni the Unicorn. There will be videos. He has his first birthday party the 22nd and the 29th. One's for a one-year-old and one's for a four-year-old. Those pictures should be precious. So stay tuned for those, okay? Subscribe. Thanks. Bye.